Today is February 15th. This is the installation job on Y Down um, in Clayton for the tankless water heater. Uh, we're installing a Navian in place of this Polaris uh, water heater. Um, everything's pretty much set up. It already has 2 inch PVC that's going out to a concentric uh, termination outside the house there. Um, so uh, all the vent piping is in excellent shape. That all can be reused. Um, the gas line is a one inch uh, gas line already. Um, so it's sized uh, properly. So the gas line will stay. Um, and then uh, what else? The uh, um, It has a indirect uh, hot water off of the... Um, off the geo system here so it's just doing using that as like a preheat tank so that all will stay formed pretty much the same way so the outlet of the um, the outlet of the preheat tank there will just feed the supply of the new tankless water heater and then um, um, we'll eliminate that mixing valve you won't need that anymore uh, the tankless will take care of all that so That'll be obsolete. So basically, you got your two lines here. Um, the one is the the line coming from the geo, uh, and then this one's the outlet of the preheat tank um, going down, and then feeding the cold water inlet side of the uh, water heater that we're getting rid of. So this will be obviously your um, inlet side of the new tankless will be coming off of that pipe down there, and then your outlet hot pipe will be is this one here that's how it's coming out there of the current water heater there so um, the only thing that you'll have to uh, accommodate for is the way that those pipes those insulated pipes there from the geo system there uh, on the wall so we're gonna have to make a standoff um, bracket type you know out of plywood two by fours whatever um, so that that thing can come off the wall and uh, there's plenty of room, you know, especially once the water heater's gone. But it just needs to stand off that wall about two and a half inches to accommodate those pipes going behind there. So that way you don't have to reroute them. It'd probably be easier just to move the tankless rather than moving those pipes um, since we're starting fresh with the water heater. So, so anyway, so flue piping's good, gas piping's good, water uh, lines will have to be rerouted a little bit. And uh, like I said, an amount for the unit itself and the standoff. So other than that, um, should be a pretty standard procedure. Um, that's it.